The outer colonies would never have flourished had he not bought Tyrell, revivified the technology. To say the least of what we do. What goes into effective world building for our stories, and in particular, what goes into near future worlds as opposed to worlds set in the far distant future? Let's get to it. In his book, Writing Popular Fiction, Dean Kuntz cautions that writing about our world as opposed to writing about an alien planet is more difficult because our world, even if projected a little into the future, demands a level of authenticity due to our familiarity with it. Near future worlds cannot take advantage of a lack of verisimilitude by operating under the fog of the far distant future. Our crystal ball gazing, therefore, has to ring true. Near worlds have to contain enough extrapolated but recognizable elements to convince us of their verisimilitude. World building requires the ability to predict the outcome of trends and defining issues, or at the very least, the ability to be convincing about them. Here are some categories suggested by Kunz to get you started. What are your near future world's moral codes? What is considered acceptable today wasn't remotely acceptable in the West even a few years back. One has only to look at the battles over gender identity to realize the extent of these shifts currently underway. What are the domestic politics of your world? Will current political systems still be defined by the same polarity seen in countries such as the United States with their Democrat versus Republican ideological conflicts? And what of world politics? Will the U.S. continue to exist as a dominant power? Or will Russia, or most probably China, gain dominion? What is the status of religion? Will the West remain predominantly Christian, or will another religion rise to displace it? Perhaps science will continue to weaken religion to such an extent that it becomes extinct and is replaced by a secular version of it. Or perhaps the reverse is true. Will there be a resurgence of a monolithic religion? What will our personal lives look like? This might be the category needing the most detailed thinking, how will our homes change, our clothes, music, transportation? What types of food will we eat? Will marriage still exist as an institution? Will the number of children be limited by the state? Will the smoking of cannabis be universally legalized? Will the moon and Mars harbor human colonies? Will space travel be made accessible to common folks? Will cancer, dementia, and disease in general be cured, or will new diseases rise up to afflict us? These are the categories which Kuhn suggests are useful in helping the writer sketch in the background of a convincing story world, a world that is both familiar and exotic to readers and audiences. To sum it all up then, sketching the near future world of your story by concentrating on key categories that define a society, namely its moral codes, domestic and world politics, religion, and the personal lives of your characters. Well, that's it for now. If you gained anything of value from this video, hit that like and subscribe button and leave a comment to share your thoughts and to help the channel grow. See you soon.